Welcome back to the Tech Bench. So yesterday I made a video on this Bose unit. As uh, many of you know, Bose is probably my least favorite brand out there. And I was putting the video together to upload it last night, only to find that the audio was all garbled. So I think my uh, webcam I'm using here for, for recording has crapped out on me. Or is crapping out on me. But I thought this was important enough I'd redo the video and start over again. So this is the Bose, uh, what's the number on this thing? It's like AWRC1 or something like that. It's the very first generation, uh, I think, it's the very first generation of the Wave Radio with the CD. That's the single CD player on top. So the guy that owns this thing, like I said, normally I wouldn't even take this on, but this guy's a disabled vet, and I got the impression this was the only uh, real entertainment the man has, so I thought I'd take care of it for him. And it sounded like a pretty simple job, famous last words. He says they had a power spike. Power went off, came back on, a couple of light bulbs blew. Um, and then he had a light hum in the background of this thing. So I thought, okay, cap's gone bad. And then he confirmed it, actually. Um, a couple days later, he says the hum turned into this uh, really loud buzz. So I further assumed he had a capacitor that was the culprit. So I said, told, I told him I'd go ahead and take it on and um, got into it. And it turned out to be a kind of a unique thing, so I thought I'd share this with everybody. The first thing I noticed was this transistor here. It's, uh, what is this, Q206, I believe. So this little switching transistor had opened up. And that was a 2SA608 or something like that. And, and uh, nothing more than a switching transistor. And crossed to a uh, NTE290A. So I replaced it with the NTE. Didn't figure for its application to be any big deal. Replaced it. And it, it powered through. But it was loaded down. It started to get hot. And then there's a little resistor. It's R207. It's so a 15 ohm. It started getting hot. It's, uh, where is it? It's right here. Um, and it started getting hot. So that told me I needed to look farther down the road for some kind of a load issue. I checked the caps. They were good. Uh, I did replace them anyway, just preventatively. And I got to this 10 volt regulator, which is the next in line. It's this guy right here. And the pins are in, ground, out. So I looked at the input and it was only 9 volts and the output was like 7 volts. Well, it's a 10 volt regulator, so obviously that's not going to do it. And that says something's breaking down. So I go up here, here's a schematic, it's easily available online. You can see the transistor is there, that's the resistor, and then there's the regulator. So that regulator feeds the 10 volt out. So I started tracing this around a little bit, looking at the different things on the 10 volt circuit. And I found this little guy right here. Now this is a digital volume control. It also has some other features like, like digital bass and treble. I don't think those are used in this application. The main purpose is digital volume control. And that was considerably hotter than, uh, than uh, the rest of the uh, ICs in this. So I thought that'd be a good place to start. Uh, lifted that off and sure enough the 10 volt came up to 10 volt. Uh, all the heat went away. So that was what I ended up finding. And I don't remember the number of this thing. It was a TDA something. I'll put it in the description. Uh, no longer available new. So the only thing you can find is either new old stock online or Chinese knockoffs. Unfortunately, the new old stock that I found online uh, gets here and it's in a package that's made in China. So I'm not going to hold my breath that this thing is going to hold up. But I did replace it. And everything's working. The uh, 10 volts is where it's supposed to be. Uh, everything is uh, is right doing. The volume's doing its thing. Everything seems to be good. So future reference, if you get one of these things. Oh, another thing. When I when I was looking at this 10 volt regulator, on the input side, which should be around uh, 14, 15 volts or so, the input side had a huge sawtooth on it, which is a further indication that there was a heavy load. Hung a scope leg on it, and there was probably a four or five volt peak to peak. Um, sawtooth. So further indication that either you got a cap bed uh, or an excessive load on it. So replaced all that. Um, open transistor, heated up resistor, 10 volt regulators running low. Problem turned out to be this little IC right here. So just FYI for the future. And this little Bose wave radio was all back together and playing. So 
In this case, one transistor, one IC, and I did go ahead and replace the caps all over. I probably didn't need to, but I think I did it more preventatively than anything else. And that's it.